guys. So today is the day I got to throw this model out. I don't have enough space to keep any of the sets after I'm done filming them for the Dark Orphanage. Uh, the apartment's just too small and my office, as you can see, is reasonably small. I still actually have the uh, exit to the balcony set here because I still need to use that for coming back into the orphanage after I eventually do the outside playground shot over the edge of the balcony. But this one has been filmed. And unfortunately, as much as I hate to have to toss them, I have to toss them into the dumpster when they're done. This one took a lot longer than the others, so it's kind of breaking my heart to toss it. I have a lot of detail, and the little panels on the wall are all made up of separate little pieces of cardboard, cracks drawn onto the cloth walls that on the opposite side over here, if you had the little mannequins that pressed through to show the hands and the stuff, and they're attached. I don't know if you can really even actually see that, but it's a little figure, and if you push against like this, a little skeleton figure, and on this side, it comes through with the hands, and does like that. And the tiny little uh, chest of drawers here with the lamp that's got a bunch of mold and stuff on it that didn't even show up really in the video because it was too dark. But the tiny little lamp has a switch up on the top here that when you flick it, it turns on and flickers. Picture frames had the MP4 players and the little devices that go down through a slot in the top. Okay, and this little bit, if you go down to the end of the hall, if you were looking originally, come around the corner, okay, way at the end of the hall down here was this window area, which also didn't show up too good uh, in the darkness. You can see little cords holding off the curtains that are washcloths, uh, the little figures looking in the window with the red eyes glow from the other side like this. There's a magnifying uh, piece of plastic there that uh, distorted them with a the light behind it and the lightning flashes. Uh, when you originally come in down here around the end of the hall, the figures are not there. So theoretically, if this is a full-scale attraction, there would be nothing there. When you hit a certain point here, oh, about the middle of the hall, you're over here, turn looking at the pictures as you're going by, the two little figures would pop up, you know, set off with little mechanisms. So suddenly there would be figures there at the end of the hall. Where did they come from? And you come down here and go around to the next scene, but it's just empty as the way it is right now. Anyway, that's the model. I'm kind of, like I say, uh, disheartened to have to toss the whole thing. Uh, only other thing I'd point out is there were other faces and hands that are supposed to press through the walls. You had two sets here, and I didn't get a chance to do this one down here. So, uh, there were three, but I just ended up showing two. Uh, that's the model. It's going to the dumpster. Um, anyhow, oh, and I guess this came down so I could actually film through here that, that moves. Slide up and down like this, but, uh, anyhow, yeah, and it falls in as I'm finishing. Anyhow, that's the model. Uh, hope you enjoyed a little peek at it, uh. Thanks.